Oftentimes we get calls from clients who have a warrant for their arrest for a violation of their probation. And to better explain that, essentially probation is entering into a contract with the court or with the probation office subject to certain terms and conditions of being on probation. The exchange there is that you get to be free, not be in custody. However, you have to abide by those certain conditions of your probation in exchange. If you've been placed on deferred adjudication probation and you violated, what will be filed to issue that warrant is called a motion to adjudicate guilt. If it's a straight probation, it'll be called a motion to revoke probation. And on either one of those documents, they're asking the court to revoke your probation because you violated it. Or another way to put it is breached your contract with the court. And on that document, there will be a list of different violations that they have alleged you two have committed while you're on probation. You're ultimately entitled to a hearing on those issues to try to determine what the result of that request to revoke your probation will be. It's important to contact a lawyer early on if a motion to revoke your probation or a motion to adjudicate guilt on your probation has been filed because the consequences associated with that can be serious. It's something that our firm has a lot of experience dealing with. And if you or someone you know has violated their probation or if there's a warrant for their arrest for violating probation, please contact us to consult regarding what those allegations are and how to deal with it going forward.